What's up YouTube land? It's your boy James and Rob. Welcome to another day in the life of Gunsmith. <laughs> I haven't updated in a while, but I'm starting a new series. Every time we go to these fucking expos, <laughs> I vlog, but then I'm like, oh, it's lame. I don't throw it up. <laughs> like, I, I have so much footage that I've just never put up. But I'm gonna start this thing, and we're gonna call it Adventures of a Small Business Owner. And I'm gonna yeah. show you what it's like when we go to these fucking events, because sometimes they're good, Sometimes they're trash and Dude, we do everything by ourselves like we loaded up this truck with a bunch of gear Yeah, we're driving three and a half hours to go to this event tomorrow never been to this event before it could be complete garbage It's supposed to rain. Yeah, and it's supposed to be outside. It's an outdoor event and it's <laughs> raining tomorrow. It's supposed to thunderstorm But we're still gonna send it. That's so a, that's a good title for a series though because you can show them like Events you can show them literally anything. Yeah, I'm gonna show you know them here all the all That's the bullshit awesome. that goes on behind the scenes. Yeah, because a lot of people think it's all fucking <laughs> easy. See the Instagram and they're like, "Oh, these guys are living it." <laughs> nah, man. Nah, man. <sighs> One day. So we're driving up to Bend. It's three and a half hours. Two and a half if I'm driving. It's Friday night. Overcast as shit. Turn up. Turn up. <laughs> Maybe we'll hit up downtown Bend tonight. Hey. The strip club. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't bring any. Any cash. I brought shorts. We could go like this, dude. Fucking shorts, <laughs> sweat shorts, <laughs> t-shirts. Yeah. Probably get more attention from the strippers than last time. <laughs> anyway, we're off. Let's go. Back at it, motherfuckers. We're testing out. We found this protein drink at the shit stain gas station back the, back there. Forty-two grams of protein in this one little thing. And now I'm gonna see if it tastes good. Dude, the gas station we stayed at, or we stopped at, literally had no bathroom. It was a porta potty out back. <laughs> Eight of them. Eight porta potties. <laughs> but no bathroom in store. You're gonna hate this. Is dude. it bad? It's not even. No, dude. It tastes like chocolate paint. I don't know what it is. It's kind of. Tastes kind of gooey. Oh. <laughs> it's Mooney's turn. Let's see what he thinks. Well, the first, the first no-no is there's no safety strip on the top. So, who knows? Yeah, that's not good. That's <laughs> terrible. You'd think that it would taste like chocolate milk. It's a that'd be that'd be crazy. It's a chocolate milk company. That should be like the only thing they work on. Yeah, dude, that's bad. And that sums up the review, guys. Thanks for tuning in. So we're about like an hour away. Not even. But we keep losing service, so we're forced to talk to each other. <laughs> it's the worst. It's the worst. Well, we got to our Airbnb. We did not book a good one. <laughs> It looked all right on the fucking website when we booked it. It goes back to what you were saying earlier, like... It's not... This is the reality, dude. Sometimes you don't get a sweet Airbnb. <laughs> Went for a cheap one. We're barely gonna be at the place. And I'm gonna show you this place. This is what it is. Airbnb unveiled. Fuck. Not on the same key right <laughs> Not bad. It looks like Drake. Dude, is that a dude? That's a compliment. He looks like Drake. That's sick. Please help with that. We got some interesting decor up in here, though. Scale of one to ten, I'm gonna rate this so far. I think it's seven. No, I'm gonna go six point three. <laughs> Damn, a D plus. Six point three, dude. El, El Presidente would be happy with that review, though. That was a veteran. Veteran re review. What we do at all these Airbnbs too is when we get here, we obviously get here, walk inside, check it out, and then we have to go get all of the merchandise out of the truck, bring it inside so nobody steals it. So you motherfuckers don't steal our Pro shit. Tip. Pro tip. Yeah. We didn't bring that much stuff. We only brought like five boxes because who knows how big this event actually is. Now we gotta put them all in the house because people will steal our shit this if place, we leave it here. This Especially with some broken down yeah, cars dude. and shit. Look at that fucking truck. Oh, that dude's truck looks fucked up. We just unloaded all the shit, and I just realized there's no TV in this entire house. 
How are we supposed to watch LeBron get swept? The game's over, dude. They got smoked. Okay. Well, how am I supposed to watch the highlights of LeBron getting <laughs> swept with no dude. TV? And then, I went over to the fridge to put my meals in there. And look at this. Fully stocked, no light. Very questionable if it's even still working. This is totally first world problems because we have a, ho a roof over our head, electricity, and indoor plumbing. But I'm bitching about no Why? TV. Is that hanging? People hanging from that? That's creepy. Look at this shit. Why is it. Why are there little people hanging from this fucking tree? Dude. Dude. I'm gonna upload a story right now to Instagram just in case we die. <laughs> now we gotta go to Walmart because we need a pop up tent because it's supposed to rain here tomorrow. It's like 9 o'clock, there's no TV. So, yeah, we're gonna have to figure something out in the meantime. So, yeah, we're gonna. You guys missed that, but I dropped the phone. But, yeah, I'll take you along, show you the ropes. So, yeah, this is, this is how it goes. You know, it's not all. Fancy cars, scantily clad women, <sighs> penthouse suites. No. Sometimes you get a below average Airbnb, you drive a truck three and a half hours to an event, and you hope for the best. We're in year three. We're trying to make shit happen. Rob just made shit happen in there. No, dude. Dude, none of these pictures in here makes sense. <sighs> just got back. From Walmart. Tired. We spent way too much time at Walmart. I know, dude, we were there for like an hour and a half. We were there for a hot second. Got our little our little tent, pop-up tent. And then we got some lawn chairs. It took us like it, it 20 was, minutes to, find, to like pick out a goddamn lawn chair. We were we were literally <laughs> like looking at all these. They had like a sofa one. It was pretty sweet. Considered getting it. Um, but yeah, we're back. Now at the Airbnb, the creepy ass Airbnb. I got some Halo Top pancakes and waffles. And then I also picked up some protein bars tomorrow because I don't know what the food situation is going to be like. And then I got a bang for the morning because I love to bang. Hey. Hey. About to kick it, stare at a wall since there's no TV and there's no Wi Fi either. So. We got that unlimited though. Yeah, I got unlimited, but I'm not trying to use it. Because I don't want T-Mobile slowing my shit down. They do that? Which they do. I'm gonna enjoy my Halo top. And call it good. What's up squad? It's the morning time. Woke up. Slept absolutely terrible. My bed was probably a good six inches too short for me. And it was hard as fucking rock. I might as well have just slept on the floor. I actually probably should have slept on the floor. It would have been better for me. So just mixing up a little bit of a pre-breakfast shake, two packets of oatmeal, and then uh, 16 ounces of egg whites. So that's gonna be my little pre-breakfast protein carb source. And then I'm gonna take some, whatever we get for breakfast, and I'm gonna take that with me to the event. Looks rainy, looks shitty outside, so this should be great. Forgot to throw my little ice pack in the freezer, so I'm gonna have to use these bangs to keep my meals cold <laughs> for a few hours. <laughs> it's a rough life right now. Got another protein shake, just in case, for the show. Rookie, dude. What is this, your first show? The protein half my house sucks. So I never think about like using it. <laughs> Don't use whatever Rob uses. I can tell, well, I did a whole video on it. it. Fucking blows. Check out Rob's channel for a video on the protein that he's using right now that is trash. <laughs> Don't buy it. And don't buy it. Anyway, we gotta go pack up the truck. Let's go. Let's fucking Go! So we just set up at the expo, or the event. Um, took us a while to set up, because we had to set up the easy up. Got the banner up, got some gear, some stuff on display. You gotta see, you can see Rob eating. 
close people are diet. That's shot of the day right there. Yeah. Literally, as we were setting up the easy up, it started to rain. So, it was like a sign. You can kind of see over there. That's where the event is. They're, they actually started doing some wads right now. It's like 8.30. Gonna eat a little bit of some snacky snacks and then hopefully slang some merch. Should have brought some joggers to wear. It's gold. Your boy did not prepare. It's like 10 a.m. We've been here for about two hours. The sun is actually out. It stopped raining, so we're actually stoked right now. Still not gonna take the sweatshirt off though because it's, it's still chilly. But we're doing pretty well. Um, we just just about broke even on our investment to come up here, so that's good. Everything from here on out is profit, so it's uh, it's always nice and a relief to kind of at least get your money back when you do one of these events, because that's the goal. You, you, you want to do these as marketing and to help build the brand, um, but you don't want to you don't want to take a loss on them, really. This is our, our first CrossFit event that we've been at, and honestly, the people have been amazing, and like the, the community and like the friendliness, and so we're definitely gonna do more of these in the future. Um, there's a few more in Oregon, then there's a couple uh, in different states that are kind of fairly big that we're gonna try to do uh, coming up. I don't want to say them yet because I don't want to, you know, uh, say that we're going to be there and then not be there, but we're going to try to do some, some pretty big ones coming up. Fitness is about a whole bunch of different disciplines. It's powerlifting, it's bodybuilding, it's CrossFit, it's endurance races, it's Spartan races. So there, there's so many aspects to fitness and we're going to try to do all of it moving forward. Do you want a hoodie there? You look like you need a hoodie. Well, I can help you out. Yo, so it has been eventful AF to say the least. So this banner, right? Last time I showed you guys was outside. And then all of a sudden it was like super sunny and super nice. Like, wow, this event's awesome. And then, and then all of a sudden flash flood of hail and rain and literally like wind storms. And like we had to bring it in cause the thing almost fell over. I had to like save it. Like I was like, <laughs> I was like Odell Beckham right there, just grabbing the yeah, grabbing the sign. Good, that was a good catch, actually. Um, yeah, Rob, Rob, Rob vouches for it. it was um, but yeah, so now we had to bring it inside, covered in rain, Bags. and now it's already stopped raining. <laughs> but yeah, the cool thing about CrossFit events is like everybody is like like friendly and like super nice and like willing to talk and like. Sometimes we go to these like shows, not so much bodybuilding shows, but more like the, like the powerlifting events that we go to, and people are like kind of standoffish or like not super friendly, and so it's kind of refreshing to be around a bunch of people that are like positive and motivated and having a good time and like enjoying working out and being around people and supporting each other. It's, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, dude. We we've like talked to several people that have come to the booth, and like I don't think one has not been really friendly. And was smiling and like like they were all awesome as fuck so we're definitely goal for 20 the rest of 2018 is to do more of these events because these are fun the music's cool the atmosphere's cool the weather sucks but hey that's like an anomaly it's an anomaly oh well all right yo so we are driving back from bend all right we're about an hour or so into this drive driving through this ro this road and it starts to like rain a little bit and we're like oh that's cool and then all of a sudden, look at this shit. It's full on snowing in this bitch. <laughs> it's June 9th. And it's, it's summertime! Summertime in Oregon. Oh, Hashtag. This is crazy, man. What is that? We need a refund. This is bullshit. Where the fuck is summer? Dude, this is the truth. I've never seen snow in June. So we had to, we had to pull over. Because I don't think you all realize how much snow is really out here. Like this is June. It's June. It's like piling up on my hat. It looks like it's December. Rob, what what the fuck is going on, bro? Dude, I don't know what month it is. What do we drive through? We're, we're, we're time travelers right now. We just went in forward in time to December. 
we are back in the compound. It's like 10.30, tired as shit. We're just gonna unload. We're gonna unload the gear right now. Just leave it and then tomorrow morning, put it back in the inventory. And so tomorrow morning I'm gonna do like a recap of today and kind of give you guys my thoughts on how the event went. Cause I'm tired, I'm tired of shit. Had a good successful day. It is the next day, Saturday morning, or Sunday morning, shit, where the fuck, James? It's Sunday morning, your boy's here. I gotta move all of that into here. Because we obviously didn't sell all of our merchandise that we brought with us, thus is life. But we also didn't bring all of our merchandise that we have. So, we're gonna take that, put it back in the shelves. Should be fun. I'm stoked about it. Not really, but it must be done. All right, y'all. So, just got done putting everything away in the in the container, which is our stock room. So everything's back. Jesus. First CrossFit event we've ever gone to. And honestly, it was it was amazing. It was, it was cool, super cool. Like everyone that we interacted with was super awesome, super amazing. It was just a cool atmosphere, a cool, fun environment. And it was super refreshing. It was, it was super nice to see all these people, you know, supporting each other, having a good time, enjoying being outside and working out and pushing each other. So they were super supportive of the brand. We did really well. We, uh, we more than made our money back and it was good for like a marketing aspect of getting our name out there some more in the Pacific Northwest, which is kind of our goal of doing all these events that we've been doing lately is we're trying to build and uh, kind of kind of build ourselves up a little bit more in the Pacific Northwest and be known social media and Instagram and Twitter and YouTube. It's, it's fun and it's a great way to get to know people, but it's, there's a much deeper connection when you actually interact with somebody in person. And that's kind of the goal of this. So our, our goal moving forward is we don't want to just focus on one aspect of fitness. Like, uh, when we got, to, when we started, um, I was into, you know, bodybuilding. So kind of like our, 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 target was some bodybuilders and stuff. And then I got into powerlifting. We kind of became known as like a powerlifting brand. Um, but we don't want to be just a power, powerlifting brand or a bodybuilding brand. We want to be, you know, a fitness lifestyle brand. So it's about all aspects of fitness. So CrossFit is one of those. It gets a lot of hate from people, but I think that that's a lot of hate from people who don't really understand it. Um, I don't have an issue with CrossFit. I have an issue with, you know, bad coaches, but that that's across the board. I mean, there's bodybuilding coaches that are terrible. There's powerlifting coaches that are terrible. There's CrossFit coaches that are terrible. It's, it's all across the board. Like you can't just single out one aspect of, you know, fitness and say that one's bad. Um, so yeah, we're going to, we're going to do a variety of fitness events moving forward. We're going to do some more CrossFit events coming up in, at the end of, in the, in the August, we're going to do a bodybuilding show. Uh, we're going to have our powerlifting meet at our, at our gym. So we're, we're trying to branch out. I want to do a Spartan race at some point this year. So, um, I'd like to do that. I think I'm actually going to compete in the, in the CrossFit event that we're going to do in August. Cause that sounds like fun. Um, it's a team event. So I'm, I think I'm going to do that and get a team from the gym here, do that. I'd like to do a Spartan event and then. I'm just having fun, you know, with fitness. And so the brand is going to do the same thing. We're going to have fun with, with fitness and just expand and go to different events and meet new people and meet different people. And that's, and that's how you grow as a business. That's how you grow as a person. So we're going to, we're going to continue to do that. It's going to be awesome. This was just a quick little insight. I spur of the moment decided to do this, you know, uh, you know, kind of the trials and tribulations of a small business owner kind of give you guys a little bit of insight, um, into, you know, what it's like to go to these events from the other side of the camera. Um, and so, it, like I said, it was spur of the moment, so I didn't actually bring my camera, I just did this all on my phone. So I'm gonna, I'm, the next event we do, I'm going to do a better job of, you know, filming it and getting uh, better footage and better insight um, into what we're doing. So um, if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment, leave a like, hit subscribe, um, but leave a comment below. Let me know what, what other aspects of being a business owner, a small business owner, um, do you want to know about? What other aspects 
interest you. So I can better address that in the upcoming videos. I got a bunch of cool videos and concepts that I'm going to start doing videos on. I'm, I'm committing to this YouTube thing again. I was super committed to it at the beginning of the year. I, I was doing videos every, every week. Um, so I'm getting back into that. I'm going to start setting aside a day where I actually do a video um, and just film a video. So I, have some, I have a bunch of cool content and ideas coming up that I think will be really exciting for you guys. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you made it this far, if you're not currently subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Check out gunsmithbrand.com. I'm rocking this dope t-shirt material hoodie. It's super awesome. I love wearing it for warm up. Plus it kind of makes my arms look good. I'm gonna finish drinking this pre-workout and get this work in. Hope you guys kill it today. Stay savage, my friends.